you doing? Welcome back to the Water Hoarder 440. Uh, we just demonstrated the cycle of the system, how it works, and how it keeps your house water pressurized. Now I want to quickly demonstrate two real important factors, uh, which most water supplies don't have built into it, which is a very easy system to fill the tanks and a very simple system to rotate the water supply on a regular basis so you don't get or store stale water. So all we do is we take our potable water hose, which we keep connected to the upper and to the lower so that we don't get any contaminants inside of our potable hose. We come over here to our municipal water source, which our water is still on. There has been no state of emergency. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this hose up to our municipal tap. I'm going to screw that on there, nice and snug. Now I'm going to turn that system on. Now that's drawing off the municipal water source. And then I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to turn on our receiver valve. And now the system is actually filling. Now this is our system is just about topped off, so it won't take very long. Um, but this is the fill cycle. So as soon as you're done and you, your tanks are filled up, both your bottom and your top systems are all full, you just shut down your hoses, your system is 100% ready to go and you're ready for anything. One of the biggest problems with water storage is rotating your water. A lot of people waste a lot of water because they store it in 55 gallon drums. There's no aeration process. There's no, um, no process whatsoever to, to stir or cycle the water. On this thing, every 60 days is what we recommend. You just flip the bypass, you shut down your municipal main, you, ship, you shut down the main here, you open up your bypass to your system and then you just use the water like you normally would over the next course of, uh, of a month, of a week, a couple weeks depending on what your household consumption is. That water is going to cycle out of all the barrels in the system and then once you're empty and you have air blowing through the system, you know all your tanks are empty, then you come back out, you reverse that process, you turn off your bypass, turn your main back on and then refill your barrels. That simple. Great. Thank you very much.